Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to read a story about another insect. And this insect we often hear at night. Sometimes we might hear it in the day, but most of the time we hear this little guy at night. And it is the very quiet cricket. And it's written by Eric Cow. And Eric Cow also did the illustrations. This is a very big cricket. Let's take a look at how our cricket tries to make friends. Interesting design. And our title page. One warm day from a tiny egg, like most insects, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Man, he's trying. He's trying to be polite. He's trying to make friends. Hmm. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Ah, he keeps trying. It's perseverance. He's keeping going. Good day. Mm -mm. Good day. Mm -mm. Crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hmm. Hello, burbled a spittle bug slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. I cannot imagine being a spittle bug and swimming around in a whole bunch of spit. Doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. I noticed our little cricket seems to be getting a little bit bigger. Um, could also be perspective. He's getting closer to the front of the book. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh man, don't give up. Never surrender. Come on, little cricket. You can do it. Keep on trying, buddy. Good evening, word a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. And he should watch out with our predator of the sky. Thanks. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Poor little guy. A lunar moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket 
enjoyed the stillness. An interesting fun fact about the lunar moth, it does not have a mouth. So guess what? Without a mouth, it cannot eat. So guess what? It does not live very long. Only 24 hours to enjoy a beautiful lunar moth and it only lives for 24 hours. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Come on. Never give up. Never surrender. <gasps> and he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Wow, I'm so glad he didn't give up and now he's finally made a friend. He tried all day. Hmm, it can be hard to make new friends. But never give up, never surrender, always persevere and scroll on down. Find out what your assignment is for today. <laughs>